everybody. That's a smallmouth worth talking about. I got the camera facing the wrong way, so I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, but this is definitely going to require my pliers. Uh, I was having so much trouble hooking this because I'm using this very small lure, I'm using this little crick hopper. And while it's a very versatile lure, its versatility is due to the fact that just about any fish, even sunfish, can uh, get it. So a nice little smallmouth like that, it's about two, maybe two and a half pounds, uh, can swallow that little lure quite easily. So let's go see if I can get another one. go everybody another one so now you begin to understand why I love fishing here at George's Creek oh, he's really got this one in him good this is another smallmouth it's probably about another pound and a half close to two pounds Beautiful fish, a lot of fun. I'm going to call that good because you can't take too many fish out of the same hole. The pressure just gets on and they'll just stop feeding. So we're going to call that good. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, uh, sorry for this stupid angle. Uh, this was not an intentional video. I don't have my tripod with me. Uh, but I see some bass swimming around out there, so I'm actually going to throw a quick hopper out there and see if we can't pick one off. Hopefully we'll be able to get it on film when I do it. If I do it. I guess if I don't, you won't be seeing this. Looks like a bass, but it looks like a little tiny baby one. Oh, son of a gun. It is a little yellow perch, everybody. I knew if I didn't have anything to take a fish home with, I would catch a yellow perch because I want one of these in my tank so bad. So we're going to see if we can't get this out of here uh, safely. All right, everybody, sorry for the video like this. I was not prepared to catch a yellow perch today. I'm too far back in the woods. I got nothing to carry this home in. I've been running, trying to get back to my truck in time, and it's just been too long. It's been four or five minutes now. I'm just not gonna make it. So I don't wanna kill this little guy. Uh, I'm gonna get him back in the water, but I did wanna show him off. 
That is a yellow perch, everybody. He's got to go. Sorry. I promise I'll get one of them from a native tank soon. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody, we are back. I've made my way in. I fished. I caught that little perch. I'm going to tie that little piece of video into this one. And now it's been long enough that this hole should have calmed down a little bit. I'm going to try to pull a couple more smallmouth out of here. Uh, this is the same spot we were at about a half an hour ago. So, let's see what happens. This is a little baby one. I gotta get my pliers out for this one, and its mouth is too small for me to get more than one thumb in there. So give me half a second here. Oh, we got a little uh, treat with this one. I don't know if you can see in its mouth or not, but it actually already has some prey in there from whatever it was already feeding on. It looks to be a mangled crayfish, but it might be some sort of insect. I'm not really sure to tell you the truth. Uh, but these are voracious little feeders. He already had that in his mouth and was trying to put that in there along with it. So I'm gonna go have one or two more casts and we're gonna see what happens, but this is probably gonna be about it for this location. So another one going back. I'm going to call this the end of this video. Uh, this is a nice, nice smallmouth. Uh, if you can see, he's got my bait way down in his throat. And it's going to take a little bit of finagling to get it out of there. So, let me see if I can do it. this real quick. Now this is a smallmouth worth talking about. That is a nice fish. That's maybe two pounds, maybe a little more, two and a half pounds. Again, smallmouth, so you don't have a huge mouth. 
Uh, I've said before, when you look at the mouth, if you look at where the hinge joint is, it falls right here in the middle of the eye. That is how you can tell it's a small mouth. The large mouth, that hinge joint actually falls back here behind the eye. And then the large mouth has different, uh, it's weird doing everything backwards in the camera. <laughs> um, the large mouth has more of a tiger type striping, or a more of a straight line uh, type striping down the side rather than this sort of uh, brownish uh, tiger striping that you see on these small mouths. So there you go everybody, it was worth the wait. Thanks for watching. This one's going back too.